Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ultimate Bird Simulator. And we are sitting inside of our little nest. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. So we are here with Bella the Hummingbird inside of our nest. And I knew I heard something squacking over in the distance. So there should be like a duck somewhere nearby. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> there it is! You guys, look, it's a little duck. What are you doing here, buddy? You're a little mallard duck, eh? I, I might pester you. I'm not going to attack you. I mean, I'm a hummingbird. I'm not an attack hummingbird. I'm just a normal hummingbird. But it looks like we're visited by a duck today, and there's a few eagles in the distance. Oh my gosh, is that another hummingbird? Poppy! Poppy, my mate, come quick! It seems we have, we have, we have an interloper! What are you doing here? Are you Poppy? I don't think you're Poppy. Hey, hey, get out of here. Get out of here, other hummingbird. That's right. That's right, I'm gonna chase you away. Oh my gosh. All right, so it's clearly a very busy bird day. Is that, that's another eagle? Oh my gosh, it's a very, very busy bird day. So we're gonna wanna watch ourselves and hopefully not get caught up by any of the larger birds. After all, we are just a little hummingbird. We don't wanna mess with those big birds. They're gonna, they're gonna possibly eat us. We are food for others. And that's not a good thing. We want to we want to just be able to have food for ourselves. And speaking of which, where there's Poppy. I was a little bit worried for a second there. But yes, it is another bright, beautiful day as a little hummingbird, you guys, beating our tiny little wings. Oh, we're so cute. Look at us. Oh, we're just adorable. I think hummingbirds probably spend most of their day basking around in their cuteness, knowing that they are fierce little fighters over flowers. Fighting over flowers is actually adorable, if you ask me. All right, where did Poppy go again? Oh, there he is. You know, Poppy's kind of shy. Just sort of hangs out on the bottom there. There we go. But we have Bella and Poppy, her mate. And these two seem to be doing okay so far. But unlike our eagle family and unlike our future our future owl family, which is going to live up in the beautiful, mysterious winter woods, that's going to be really fun to send them up into that snowy land. Oh, almost leveled up, almost leveled up. Yes! All right, Bella has leveled up again. Poppy's just down there kind of enjoying some of the other flowers too. We're trying to only feed about three times, three to four times per flower before moving on because otherwise it's just so easy to sit there and just spam things. I think that Bella and Poppy may actually help us to hit some of the levels that we need to unlock the other bird species because they're leveling up so much faster than our eagles ever have. There we go. But we made up some really fun stories for our eagle family after all. And the eagle family became the sky tree family. There's more ducks. Today is a day of ducks. Oh no, run! Fly! Flap! Flap those wings, ducks! Flap! They're coming for you! Oh, Bella! Oh, Bella! Do we have to witness this tragedy? Look at them go! All right, the ducks win! The ducks win the day! I think! Oh, the mist is, is setting in! Oh, oh, oh! And they're gone. All right, hopefully they'll survive. They tried really hard to escape the, uh, the hawk that was coming for them. But we have come up with some really fun stories. Let's maybe I like that stick. I would love to make her pick up the stick again because it's kind of adorable when you watch the little hummingbirds pick up a stick and fly off with it. But we have come up with some really fun stories for the eagle family. There's lots and lots of different bird species in this world in Ultimate Bird Simulator. We've played as a couple of them now, as the hummingbird and as the eagle. And the eagle family was really vicious because they are a predator. Uh, we've made them into kind of like one of the ruling warrior families of the area. They sort of control the territory of this island. And that's a really fun story, especially because it gives us a great excuse to attack crocodiles and to defend our territory and fight uh, other creatures, which really doesn't make a lot of sense as a hummingbird, but it's a lot of fun when we're playing as a predatory bird, such as the bald eagle. So we have our sky tree family with the bald eagles. This looks like a healthy flower, so I'm gonna drink from it four times. Oh, it's so cute. We have the sky tree family of bald eagles kind of making a name in the world for themselves through their fighting and through their collecting. After all, if you remember, oh, are those the bears? Did that sheep just kill a bear? Okay, Bella's gonna have to go investigate this. Oh my gosh. Dang, sheep, that was impressive. That sheep took out this bear. You never know what you're gonna find. But as you can see, the world is kind of ruthless here. Ruthless. And I think we're gonna send down, you know what, let's send Bella down and she's gonna gather up a little bit of fur. That makes sense. Can she, can she gather up anything from this? Can I, oh, she's kinda, she's kinda, being a little bit no Bella <laughs> oh 
it looks like she's going to get eaten when we do this. So it doesn't look like Bella can eat the meat even if she wanted to because she is completely a nectar eater. And so that's a good thing to see that we can't kind of sneak, uh, sneak a meal of eating a bear because that would be a little bit odd as a hummingbird. Can I eat this flower though? This looks like a really good flower. I really want it. There we go. There we go. But since we've made the eagles into the ruling family who spend a lot of their time fighting, I don't think the hummingbirds group, uh, if we're going to carry on with the same idea of each bird group kind of being their own, their own royal family having to fight for territory and recognition and uh, there we go. Oh, wow. Look at that stork. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. But it's kind of like we can assign a different sort of uh, almost royal lineage to each bird family and give them a place in this little birdie society. Because I love stories. I love adding an element of role play into everything I do. You'd be amazed how I get my household chores done on a day to day basis. I'm being completely honest. I am that goofy. There we go. And I think that the hummingbird family. Oh, there's another hummingbird! We've got to go. We've got to go investigate him. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to steal his flower. All right. We'll go investigate him and then we're going to steal his flower. Look at him go. Look at him go. Yeah, that's right. You better get out of here. Bella and Poppy. There we go. All right. And he seems to be headed out of here. So let's go back and eat his flower. But I think the hummingbird group, because they're so small, just simply would not be able to compete with the eagles and the other birds of prey. They're going to get eaten if they try to fight with those bigger birds. It's just the way the world works. There's no way they could even begin to compete with them. But I think the hummingbirds may be kind of like informants. They may make excellent little spies. Is that another hummingbird? <gasps> oh, let's go see. Let's go, let's go tell him what for. He actually seems like... No, is that? It's a dragonfly. <laughs> it's a dragonfly. We're almost as big as a dragonfly. Can I get him? Can I get him? Maybe? <gasps> I got him. Oh my gosh. Bella, you're holding a whole dragonfly. I want to look at this. This is so cute. All right, let's go ahead and swivel the camera around. <gasps> you guys, look at her. Bella, Bella can be a fierce little fighter on her own too. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if I can eat this dragonfly. I don't think hummingbirds uh, eat eat insects, but we're talking about a bird. Oh, did I did I just there we go? We dropped it on the ground. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can't really eat it. That's fine. Whoa! Let's get out of here. Skunks are coming for us. All right, so we probably need to head back towards our home. This does not look like a very hospitable area for a little hummingbird. So I think that in the society of birds that we have here on this island, the hummingbirds would probably be the informants. They're small, they're fast, they flit to and fro. They don't really have the ability because of their size to be influencers um, with claw and beak. They're definitely in talon. They're definitely not going to be able to be good fighters. I mean, look, Bella is celebrating the fact that she just fought off a dragonfly. So I don't think fighting off the crocodiles uh, the way that Talon and Cloud and Sky, our eagle family, have done. Oh, another beautiful, another beautiful stork. That's so cool. I don't think that they would be very impressed by a fight with a dragonfly. But I do think it makes sense that hummingbirds are often overlooked in this society. So maybe Bella and Poppy will be able to uh, will be able to have a little bit of influence that way. So that's why I think that we'll use them to unlock multiple bird species. They may seem pretty small and they may seem like they can't really get a lot done. Woo, Bella, you're making me dizzy. Hold still for a second, sweetie. But uh, I think that what they can do is possibly spy on other bird species, not even intentionally, just while they're out and about looking for flowers. And that would explain why we will use the hummingbirds to unlock so many of the other birds so that we can play as the toucan, we can play as the owl, we can play as the blue jay, because we've been playing as the eagle for a very long time and it takes a long time to work our way down and unlock everything. So we'll do that with them. We'll see. We'll see what kind of interesting adventures Poppy also manages to get herself into. Or I should say Bella. Poppy is her mate. We'll see what kind of interesting adventures they can get themselves into. Just while they're flying around, being more or less ignored by all the other birds. See, there goes the eagle. No idea what he's chasing down. All right, we'll go ahead and eat a couple more flowers. But what we really want to do today, you guys, is we want to lay an egg. I think Poppy and Bella, being little ones that they are, are ready to have a little one of their own. I have a feeling hummingbirds kind of have a bit of a short life. 
I think that they really do have a short life in real life as well because they, they don't live too long. So let's go ahead and work our way over to a flower down here. And then we'll go get a drink at some point. I'm going to see if we can try to get ourselves back to our nest. And then once we're at our nest, I'll see about, we're about to level up again. So let's stay at this flower long enough to level up. Poppy, where are you going? We're going to continue to eat this. All right, come on, Poppy. And we need to get to level 15, I believe, before we're able to have our egg. So lots and lots of uh, flower eating. There we go. Our little flower fighter. Or maybe it's just level 10. I can't remember. I think it's level 15, though. All right, are we close to our nest? We should be pretty close. Yep, that's what I thought. We were headed back. There we go. Kind of interesting to have woken up today to a duck. So I feel like the other bird species would probably... Are you trying to take my nest over, stork? Look, I know I know we're not much to fight with, but our nest is our nest. Ooh, there's a pretty white flower down here. Let's go ahead and eat some of this. There we go. I can hear the stork yelling at us. That's adorable. All right, let's go ahead and eat more. Oh, it's going to take forever. Okay. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Poppy, come back. We need to eat this. All right, there we go. This is a very pretty white flower too. That would be a fun challenge if we ever needed to add in a challenge for ourselves in the future. Maybe when we play as certain hummingbirds, you could only eat like a certain color of flower. Only the orange ones, only the blue ones, only the white ones. Only so many times at each flower and that may give us a nice little challenge. But right now we don't need to worry about challenges. Surviving as a tiny little bird in the rain eating these flowers oh my goodness and the thunder too okay let's go ahead oh my gosh let's go ahead and fly on up we'll land in our little nest there we go and let's go ahead and sleep oh an achievement earned oh my goodness what have you just achieved my dear so let's see what bella has achieved then that's pretty cool thinking about achieving things as a tiny little birdo let's see i would like to display achievements please no idea how to swipe. Swipe here to display achievements. I'm doing my best. I'm on a, I'm on a computer. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a lot of them. Oh, does she get different achievements for every, every, like we get different achievements for every bird? That's so interesting. So she found the nest. So that's achievement with, oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, take a nap. Oh my gosh. You get 200 achievements for that or 200 um, experience for that. So let's see, reach reach level 200. That's something you can do. Uh, stay here for a second thing. Complete your flock, find all facts chest, defeat an enemy. Didn't we defeat that? Didn't we actually defeat that um, sheep last time? I think that counts. All right, let's go ahead and eat a blue flower for a second. Still storming. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could go try to take out some of those fish and what we could do is we could say that when our hummingbirds are doing that they're not actually fighting they're investigating because i love the idea of them being little spies doesn't that make sense if i was a hummingbird i would spy on things and then i would defend my flower garden because heck that's what hummingbirds do they defend their flower gardens from from other hummingbirds all right can i level up here really quickly poppy what do you think can we level up here really fast let's try this out all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then maybe I can level up in the nest because it's a rainy day. Oh, Poppy likes that idea. He just like disappeared into the top. And I think what you can do is I could switch over to Poppy. Here, let's come up here. And let's try something out. I think Poppy wants to sit and rest in the nest. So we'll come over here, we'll switch to Poppy. Oh, he's so cute. And we'll also land. Oh, do you have a, do you have a quest for us? All right, let's go ahead and land and let's eat some blue flowers. Look at that. And then who gets the experience from that when we eat flowers? Oh, we had experience. Yes. Oh, and can I? Yay. We can snuggle. Bella, hold still for a second. Bella, land. It's so hard to keep Poppy in the nest because Poppy just wants to go like fly everywhere. Hummingbirds don't really hold still. They've kind of got, they're, they're a little bit over eager to keep moving around. How many of these can I eat? Can I just sit here and eat like all of this? How do you collect up flowers? So every time you gather up food, do you collect up like extra flowers and, and things like that? No, come back. Come back, Poppy. Come back. I want to, oh, Poppy leveled up, you guys. Yay. I want to snuggle with you. Poppy, come back. <laughs> I want to be a romantic hummingbird. Poppy, no, you're in the nest. Poppy, for crying. There, hold still. Poppy. All right, I'm going to praise you. Nope. Pa <clears throat> Poppy's playing hard to get. All right. Nope. Okay, we wrestled with him. Maybe that's more his style. Hey, come here. There we go. Praise. Snuggle. He's gone again. All right. 
Well, I mean, this is an easy hundred experience, but I think hummingbirds prefer to like keep moving. Can I just like load up on all sorts of flowers here? We're spending the rainy day. There we go. Poppy, hold still for a second. It's really fun when we can level up. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Hummingbirds are too eager. Hummingbirds are too eager to fly away, you guys. <laughs> they won't hold still. But I think we will kind of look at the missions that we end up having, collecting up skells, which seems like a very odd thing for a hummingbird to do. I think we'll start looking at those as they're doing investigations. And they're just sort of checking in on other species. They're checking in on what's going on versus like the idea that they're actually fighting a fish. So let's see if we can get... Come on, come on. All right. Well, we're at least defending our flowers and we're, we're eating plenty of flowers. So flocking to flowers. There you go. And we did check out... Uh, we did examine the teeth of that bear. <laughs> so like a tiny bear dentist uh, is what we were today. Actually, that was really fun. All right. And another level. Good. So she's getting there. We're at level 10 now. So we're still a little bit far away from the idea of being able... Let's see. Let's have uh, duration go up. We're still a little bit far away. Ooh, movement speed. Awesome. From... And we'll add more dexterity. From being able to really have a baby. Let's see. Let's en enhance our healing abilities. From being able to have a baby, but at least we're making... Oh, we're so much faster! That was just one dexterity point. Oh, is that a hummingbird? Is that a hummingbird? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, nope. Ah. She swooped! She did a swoop! Oh, you guys, let's collect up little insects. Oh, I wish they stayed. I wish you could, like, store some of these things so that you could have trophies that you could bring back to your nest in your den in the simulator games. Wouldn't that be amazing if you could just have, like, a pile of trophies? All right, let's fly up here. I would love that. That would really add a lot, a lot, a lot for me. But there we go. There's our trophy. So we'll remember that Bella brings back a uh, hummingbird wing, or she brings hummingbird wings is a little dark. Bella brings back butterflies and dragonflies to decorate her nest with. So I think that they're doing pretty good. And then next time we will try to really push her. We'll go investigate the scales and we will try to get this hummingbird egg laid. It's a little bit harder to lay a hummingbird egg than I thought, even though it's so easy just to sit there and like be able to collect up all of the, <laughs> all of the nectar. So we'll have to see if we can do that next time. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.